Hi, welcome back to another Shiny Bright Doggo video. I'm Janine and this is my fiance Laura. What we do on this channel is a little bit of thrifting for vintage Christmas, vintage Halloween, and kitschy items that we like to collect. Sometimes we sprinkle in a little bit of reselling, but most of the time we're just on the hunt for our own collections. So if you like doing that and you enjoy coming along on a thrift hunting journey, subscribe to the channel we would really appreciate it and hit the notification bell so that you know when we upload in today's video we're going to go to the thrift store and possibly an antique mall to see what we can find for christmas stop guys look how cute only a dollar 99 look janine oh wow you hold on to that okay <laughs> he's like older than me guys let's say yep definitely older you can see that the red has worn off which is a clear indicator that this is a mid-century piece it's also marked on the bottom it doesn't say japan which is interesting but it's definitely a japan piece that's pretty cute that is cute i like that probably from the 70s it. it's cute i do like that a lot of uh, christmas mugs here I don't see any Santa mugs though. I did find these. They're cute. I, fa I found them oh, before. They're cute. But I was saying how they're actually a set. They're candle holders. Mm -hmm. I think they're Commodores, but it's missing the other one. I, I haven't found it in the bag, so I'm not sure about her. Mm -hmm. And these are really cool. $3 really isn't a bad price. No, it's not. The red wear is pretty significant, but. No, it's not. It's yellow, orange, and blue. $25.50. Yob. Yellow, orange, blue. So I don't think I'm going to get these, honestly. Leave them behind for somebody. I'm going to hold on to her in case I find the other set. Do you want to put her in the bag? Yeah, I'd love to put her in this bag. Thank you. I'm trying to look at it. Oh I my god, it's so it. cute. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Oh, it's really There's cute. There's some crazy. Um, yeah, but it looks like it's new. Yeah, like 80s, yeah? See, so like when crazy is like these long lines, I find that that happens on like newer pieces. I don't know if that's like... Huh. Something that would happen like the first start of crazing or not, but interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's really cute. Can you put this in the bag? Look at this. Cute. Oh, that's cute too. You want it in the bag? Yeah, just for now. I'll think about it. Guys, this is the cutest. This is the cutest Christmas fabric I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. I think they're pillowcases, but that is so cute. I think I have to get it. It's uh, $5. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. I also found this really cool Noma light. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a hurricane lamp. but It's it a newer have... one. Yep, it has a barcode. Um, printed in USA. Mm -hmm. This is probably from the 80s. Yeah. That's cool, though. The box is a bit busted, so. Yeah. I it's won't be getting that. Box. It is nice. No, it is nice. It's cool with the cutout. I found these nice napkins. They've got some nice uh, holly berries on them, but I like using them in our displays. I like putting oh, ceramics yeah, on do. top of them. So for $2, <laughs> I might get a set or two and show you guys how I display with them. What'd you find, Jane? This little doll made in USA. It's an That's ideal. Cool. An, ideal doll, an ideal doll? Yeah, made by ideal. Nice. This is made in Hong Kong, so it's probably from the 70s. Look at the little Santa in there. That's sort of fun and different. Huh. Hey, Janine. What'd you find? Oh, this is a little bag of stuff. I'm just trying to look through it. It was almost interesting. I wanted to show you this globe that I found. That's cool. It's entirely made out of tin. And look at the zodiacs on the bottom. It's only $1.99. And I know that globes can go for decent money if they're collectible. I just have no idea how to date this thing. Um. I have to look it up online how to date it, but look at yeah, that. You gotta look for. Look at Europe, isn't that cool? I think I'm gonna try to see how I can identify it. Um, might be worth picking up, honestly. We'll see. Look at him. He he's, sits. He's cute. Look, look, Janine. Look, Laura. I know. That's what I was just about to point out to you. And that's me. Just like you. Wait, I can't see. It does look just like me. It's exactly what you it's look like. It's a spitting like. image. Wow. <laughs> 1990. She's older than me. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's nice. I feel better. Like, you feel young. <laughs> another, like, young. Girl. Imagine there's one called Janine. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I was saying, there's like a little, like, Laura girl who's gonna walk by and be like, that's my name. That's my name. And then she'll be excited and wanna buy it. I wanna buy it. I'm excited. No, I'm not gonna get it, but that is me. So after looking this over really carefully, I was about to buy it because I could probably sell it for 30 ish dollars, 20 to 30 dollars. This little top piece is missing. It's like being held together with like a screw that's not supposed to be there. So, I mean, it's still functional. It still like displays fine, but I don't know about picking it up now. It does have a dent here too. This is really the issue. I don't know, what do you think, Janine? It's only $2, which really isn't too bad. I think I'm gonna leave it behind only because I have more Christmas stuff to sell. Um, and this is bigger and a little bit more difficult to ship. If I didn't have as much to sell, I'd probably pick it up, but, but it's just really cool to see, especially at the thrift store, but I'm gonna leave this guy behind, but I am gonna get this little saucepan. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this, a Vision USA Corning. This is Corning. I'm gonna get this for $2. And I have some stuff in this bag that we have to go it's through. It's yellow, so it's 25% off. Nice. These are pretty good, guys. These are made in Japan. But the only thing is that they're missing the writing on them. This should say, like, I think Happy New Year. And this one says Merry Christmas. But otherwise, they're in pretty good shape. I might consider getting them. They're $4. No percent off, though. Hmm. She's really cute. She looks older. And yep, she's a left-in made in Japan. $6. I've never seen her before. Um, usually they're the birthday angels, but she doesn't seem to be one. She might have just been like a little figurine for a little girl or something. She's really cute. Um, but I'll probably leave her behind because I usually just tend to look out for the holiday ones. So I found this really cool frying pan. It weighs like, this thing has to weigh 20 pounds, but I'm pretty sure it's from the mid-century. It's, I don't know what's going on there, but it's got that really cool pattern going on like they would have on the tables and the lamps back in the day if you guys know any information drop a comment it's ten dollars and it just it's so heavy but if i collected pink retro you know vintage cookware or had a booth or went to a flea market this would be a really cool pickup but janine how much does this thing weigh do you think you could do like curls with it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much, but it's definitely heavy. It, it's not a normal weight for a frying pan nowadays. Isn't it cool though? Yeah. I saw it across the room and it fooled me from a distance, but this is clearly a reproduction. You just can tell right off the bat with the paint job, but it's still cute. I wonder how much they're charging for it. Uh, $15, which is maybe just about or five dollars cheaper than retail so that's a little disappointing what'd you find oh wow that's really pretty isn't it yeah ge snooze alarm without the e <laughs> love mid-century spelling that's pretty mm -hmm. yeah the double glow tree ornament hangers only a dollar mm. yeah there's some fun stuff look at this giant ceramic christmas tree it's huge. Wow. I wonder how much it is. Um, I don't know. It's a big tree. Yeah. And they got some girly candles for $10 each. That's fun. Yeah. I really like this guy, but there's no price on him. 15 for the ghosty? Yeah. That's cute. Christmas corner. Circa 1900, Dresden, Germany. Wow. She's cool. She is cool. Wow. These angels are really cute. They're candle holders. I like their black hair, actually. It's different. Um, $8 for the set, and they are. What are they? 
stuff. Safford? I'm reading it upside down. What does that say to me? Shefford. They're really cute. Shepherd. I might get them. Maybe they're resell? They're really cute. Yeah. She found a pumpkin. Yeah, I can't leave it behind. It's $3. Oh, it's $3. That's a... And look, is that a candle? Oh, it's only put a candle in it. Interesting. Oh. Creepy Santa for $10. This was on the floor, Lord. It's just on the floor? Yeah. So I was like looking here and then I saw him. Oh, okay. Creepy Santa? Let me see. He's different. He just looks like he had a little too much of the uh, eggnog. A little too much eggnog, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about him. I mean, he's cool, but he'd look cool in like an arrangement. Look at that tree. It's a nice bottle brush. That is a nice tree. Look at that little star top. $30. That's not bad. But the ones with like these individual branches are harder to find. Janine, I don't know if you saw me, but I ran. Yeah. I ran. Did you see me? <laughs> I saw you in the corner of my eye. Um, I'm so excited to have found this flocked Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. They're so cute and it's been on my wish list for a while now. I've never found one of these in the wild. I have found a Mrs. Claus, mm -hmm. um, and they are definitely faded. They're a little bit more orange than red, um, but I couldn't pass it up for $2. This is made in Hong Kong, so it's probably from the early 70s, just a Christmas classic. I might try to, like, on the back, like, dye the flocking and see if I can try to get back to its original red. Not quite sure. Um, don't want to ruin it, obviously, but... I was just so excited to find this. This was with the pillowcases, guys, but this is not a pillowcase. I'm happy it's not. I spent $5 thinking that it was a pillowcase, but it's actually, I think, like a little tablecloth. Look at this pattern. It is it's very cute. Literally the cutest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with it. You are. Um, and I think I'm going to put this on our kitchen table. It's just about the perfect size. It's so cute. I found two packs of two vintage... Uh, napkins and I just love this pattern it's really pretty and each pack was two dollars making each napkin a dollar actually there might be three I don't know how to say uh, my thoughts on this is that maybe it's 70s if you guys know or are familiar with this pattern definitely let me know I don't think it's like a 50s or a 60s because it's a pretty thick napkin so I'm leaning towards like a 70s or 80s but I like to decorate with these on shelves and put them under my ceramics. It really makes the whole area look really festive. We went to an antique mall. I don't know if I captured this on camera. You spotted these angels, Janine. There were quite I did. a few. I don't think I caught it on camera, but- I, I was so surprised because there was a bunch of them. I just missed and it. And you were like, oh, are you ready to go? And then I was like, oh, did you see those? I was like, no. And there were like 10 um, Lufton, Napco, birthday ceramic angels, which these are pretty collectible. They go for anywhere from 10, to like $50 if you have an October Halloween one. Um, but anyway, they were marked like all sorts of prices, but the booth vendor guy was actually there and he was like, I'll give you a deal if you want a couple. And I got each of them for $10, which I think was a steal, especially- yeah, very good. This, thank you. <laughs> especially this February one. I love her. She's a Lefton from 1957. And I'm a February birthday, so I was really excited to find her. She's going to stay in my collection. And then I grabbed these November Angels. I fell in love with them because they're each holding a little turkey. I think they're so cute. The most desirable one is actually the boy one on this side. And uh, he's a Napco, I think. Flip him over. Yeah, he has his Napco sticker there. And he goes from like... 30 to $50. I actually have them on my eBay if you guys are interested. Link is in the description. But I thought they were so cute, especially just in time for Thanksgiving. And I got each of these for $10, which I think was a steal. And I got these two little bottle brush tree brooches. And they do have little like pins on the back. And they're marked Japan. I just thought they were so different and unique. Yeah, they're really nice. They are. They were $8 each, which I thought was a pretty good deal considering they're basically bottle brush trees. I think they're really cute. Not sure if I'm going to keep or pass these along yet, but really festive. These I thought were so different. I think it's pretty rare to come across vintage ceramic angels that have darker colored hair. Usually they're blonde, so to find one with like black hair I thought was so unique. I love it. Diversity, I love it. Um, and because they're so different, I think they're really, really nice, you know? Yeah, no, they're totally different. 
Um, I like that their little like heads are candle holders too, which is different. They are actually marked. They are, I can't say this, Janine, Shafford? Yep, styled by Shafford Japan. I've never seen this mark for vintage Christmas ceramics, so my guess is that that's maybe a ceramic or pottery company that did a little bit of ceramics for Christmas, but not a ton. Um, so these are definitely unique and it was quite a score for only eight dollars and this was my one and only find at the antique mall i saw him face down under a table and he was marked for only three dollars which i thought was a really good deal he has this candle on where his little like stem hole normally would be i thought that was different is that original does anyone know if that was a no I no? Don't think, no you don't think so no i don't know i don't think so but yeah i thought <laughs> that was pretty cool it was only three dollars and you know what they say no, no pumpkin, pumpkin left, left behind. behind. I found this um, interesting double glow ornament hanger uh, box. It's a little beat up on the top, but it was only a dollar, so how could I not? Yeah, it's really nice. Look at the side. It has all those stars. Great to put in your displays. Yeah. In between little ceramics. Love mm -hmm. it. So thanks for joining us, guys, on this thrifting adventure. We had a lot of fun. We found some great gems, and we hope you enjoyed. Also, stick around for this Friday's video. We have a, a good one for you guys. A little sneak peek in the corner. <laughs> yes. And um, Thursday is obviously Thanksgiving. So hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.